what is going on everybody look what we have here we have finally finally have gotten the update to hopefully counteract these overheating issues i've seen some other videos where they received their update and seem to be actually working okay i don't know what's going to happen once i i install it on mine i'm hoping this will help this battery issue we shall see so this popped up on on the GoPro app earlier today. I didn't have enough time to actually do the update then because I had a little battery, right? <laughs> but we are gonna go through it right now. Let's see what happens. So let's click update. Let's see what's going on. Do we ever read this? <laughs> Here we go. All right. You guys are watching it live with me. Hope everyone's doing good out there. Oh, we got some time while well, we're at 50% if you haven't already go hit that subscribe button go hit that like button and leave a thumbs up in the comments all of that good stuff all right installing the update don't go anywhere do not exit the GoPro app or turn off your camera during this process all right depending on how long this is gonna take I will probably come back to you guys. Matter of fact, I'll be back. What's going on everybody, we are back. I'm gonna hop right into it and show you what is going on with this latest update. So you're gonna see the major difference lies in the little menu bar and it's gonna come from this little illuminated icon over here. So this is where you can actually just change all the modes directly. So essentially what this update is doing is going to turn off and turn on certain features of the gopro which will allow you to yield a longer battery life and less overheating so if we click the icon it's on maximum video performance right so basically everything is on all the highest resolutions highest frame rates are in this particular mode right and it's also going to be which means it's going to be the shortest amount of battery life we click the middle one extended battery life and it says it right here limited to optimal video resolutions and frame rates that extend battery life so you're not going to get the super slow motion like you would get in like 2.7k at 240 frame 240 frame rate you know 1080p um 240 frame and the 5k 30s right they're going to limit that option and then the final one is tripod stationary video basically everything is turned off hyper smooth all your stabilization gps is off all right so if we stay on this one and we go into our video options you notice pretty straightforward 4k 30 5k 30 and if we click it boom hyper smooth is off wide GPS is off. If we go back to maximum video performance, my fat thumb, forgive me guys, and we click that, there you go. It brings up everything, right? You got everything here. So that's basically what this update is for and what it is. Like I said, this wasn't the main update that was supposed to come in November that actually got pushed to December. This update came because everybody was complaining and people were talking about returning these GoPros. So what you're getting is just a easier way to toggle between different modes and turn off different resolution and frame rates with ease. So. They said a couple of bugs were fixed in it as well. I have to put it to the test and see how much time do I get in the battery, the overheating issue. So I'll be playing with that, you know, going into tonight, tomorrow, and I'll probably do a follow up video and let you guys know what did I find out about this latest update. But I'm definitely happy an update did come out. I'm hoping that we get a better battery life, this overheating issue hopefully is resolved or it's at least going in the right direction of being resolved so let me know if any of you guys out there you got the gopro 10 you download the update what type of results you were getting so all right i'm out of here more testing on this thing i'll talk to you guys later peace